What does financial freedom mean to you? Financial freedom means to me, I'm able to do what I want, when I want, and how the ever hell I want to do it. Mm. That's pretty much it for me. So nothing as far as like, you know, I got like two houses or five cars or anything like that. Mm. I just want to be able to just enjoy my life and do what I want to do without worrying about money dictating my choices. Facts, facts. So tell us about the biggest investment that you've made that provided the biggest ROI or return on investment. Biggest investment I made was purchasing my first house. Mm. So me and my ex-wife, we purchased in the gentrification area here in Atlanta. And just like giving a rough estimate of all the numbers, I want to say we purchased for maybe like around 120, maybe 125. Mm. Over the course of two years and like maybe two and a half years, uh, the area has been booming and still is booming. I don't get why. I didn't, we didn't wonder why, but we said, hey, let's go and sell the house now while the market's still good. And we sold for like, like maybe 180 ish okay. around that price. And I know after the mortgage was paid, after the Relatives were paid. We got roughly about maybe, I think maybe 40K that we ended up splitting. So that was like the biggest investment I've ever made, the biggest mm. return I ever gotten in one day. Uh, second will probably be like investing into different stocks here and there. Mm. Yeah, compared to like 20K just coming in my wallet. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the biggest one easy. <laughs> most dev, most dev. That's a big play right there, man. You got to tell us. So that was your first property, correct? Yeah, first one. So how did you get into that? What was the, what, what did you do leading up to that to get ready for that? No, all we did to get ready was we just saved a little bit more money. So we used the FHA program since it's only 3.5% down payment. Mm. Uh, we did that. I think the main difference is we stayed within our means, really below our means, actually. Mm. We probably could have afforded more, but he said this is a good amount for us right now. So that was a major play for us. And we just shopped during the winter time so for those who don't know usually winter slows down real estate mm. and for us we looked at maybe four to five houses and then we saw one said okay this is the one it was mostly already done mm. and yeah we're good to go for us it wasn't a really long process we got in and got out and then i bought another town home in the another winter same situation <laughs> okay so did you use that fha loan or what what, what did you use? To, you can use that again? Yeah. So the rule of the FHA is you can only have it one time. Mm. So if you have house A with the FHA and you refinance it with another type of loan, mm. that means you can do house B with another FHA since you don't have the same FHA loan. Okay. So Yeah. Once the house was sold, we didn't own the loan anymore. So I was able to use that FHA again for a townhome. Okay, that FHA loan is a, is a huge play. I like the way that's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's a small down payment. It's easy to get into the house. I mean, compared to like paying ten percent or anything, you know, mm. you also have other programs out there that can help too. You know, that's definitely what what I want you know for my listeners to understand that it's not. I wouldn't say that it's not easy, but it's not as hard as everyone thinks it is to you know go out and purchase a home. So I definitely want my listeners to understand that. Yeah, it's really not. Um, people might make it seem complicated, and it can seem complicated if you've never done it, if you've never done any research. I said that'd be the main reason why it might be complicated, but it's truly not. It's a really easy process. You find a good realtor, find a good mortgage um, for the loan officer, and everything should be smooth. Like, you should have no issues. Okay, okay. Hey, this is Andre Alberton with the Millennials Next Door. Make sure you download the FYI Fly app coming out soon.